Hi friends, welcome back to our channel UiPath Bots. In this video, we are going to practice a simple uh, example on Excel file, reading some values from Excel file while uh, using this UiPath double UI application. So you already uh, known about this application, right? So this is a UiPath generated one. We can freely download from the UiPath Academy. If you are not aware of this, please go through our previous videos or I can give you the description how to download this application into your local machine. So before moving to this uh, video, I would like you to uh, please uh, subscribe our channel for more videos and do like and share these videos with your colleagues and friends. This will really boost me in getting uh, new content and new videos which can helpful for your UiPath journey. So let us move on to this video. In this video, we are going to uh, do a sample where we will be having an Excel file with some data in it. So I have some four columns in it uh, where in this uh, where I have given some random values so in the first three columns and the last column I just left it as blank. WI is an application where we we are going to give some values into cash in, honest check, not honest check fields and on click of accept we will get some transaction number. So the ideology here is give the values here into these fields and read the transaction number after you click on accept. Read the transaction number and save it back to excel file under transaction number column. So this is the uh, ideology. This, this is the practice session. So along with me it is always advisable for you to recreate these steps. Open your UiPath studio and try doing this along with me so that you will never forget how to use excel file. Right? Now let us move on to the studio. So for this, <clears throat> in, uh, now you are clear right? We have an excel and we have a double UI application. So we have two applications here. So we need two containers, one for excel and one for this. UI part WI. So WI you already know about this, right? So we can use web app recorder to work on this WI. So I just selected this WI. You could see it is it, it is recording the steps what I'm performing here. So I'm going to give some value in cash in. So give some random for now, confirm, this pin came right, next honest check, give some random value, confirm, next not as, not honest check. So it is, you, you could observe this, it is automatically giving some anchors. So when you feel that it is correct, please confirm on it. Right, so that's it. So all these three values I have given some random. Then click on accept, so that it will generate a transaction number. Now, what I'm going to do is, I I'm not just clicking on this on mouse over. It it is giving some options here to choose the action. So I am supposed to read this value, right? So get text, use get text, and it is unable to find the anchor, right? So use the anchor. Since we are getting some value out of this get text, we are supposed to give uh, a variable name here. So let us say this is a transaction number. Enter. 
so that's it so save it you could see all these steps under a container use application right so now now it is showing some error here let us see what it is it is giving so let us go back to this and create a variable as your transaction number give a scope right so save it so all these are under use application scope now our first application is done now now we are supposed to work on the second application that is excel for this we are supposed to have <coughs> excel scope in the latest uh, version uh, we have use excel file which we are supposed to use under excel process scope okay so under this we are supposed to use excel file here let us give our excel file it since it is opened let me close this okay that's it save the changes now we are supposed to iterate each row so use for each for each excel row so it is automatically referring to the current one so use this excel sheet 1 of sheet 1 okay so it has headers and we are supposed to save after each row because each row we are what what we are doing for each row we are reading each value uh, values from each row of this excel and uh, saving transaction number for the corresponding row after each row we are supposed to save it right so now what we are supposed to pass is here now we have the values so let us move on these into this for each because for each row we are supposed to do the repeat the same activity right okay that's it and one more accept next one more is get text okay now while we record this we just pass it some random values right so instead of this now we have to make this dynamic so what is the row name here current row of take the column name okay let us see whether we are taking the proper column names or not so this is the column name cash in copy it back and then so whatever value is there in the cash in column we are supposed to pass it on type into cash in now here honest check similarly the same one current current row of what is the name of this honest check okay that's it similarly the other one current row of the name not on us check not on us check I hope you are doing along with me or practicing along with me, right? So now accept next transaction number. So now we got some value into this transaction number. Now what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to pass this transaction number to our 
this column which column it is this column right so for that I'm going to have an assign activity where I'm passing this value current row of what is the value transaction number this column Let me open this in an uh, advanced editor. Okay. So this is the one. Now we are passing as your transaction value to this current row. So let us do this. So we have the value into STR transaction number. Now we are supposed to move this to current row to transaction number column okay so this way this this all complete activities are under for each loop for each row so for each row what what and all steps it is performing every it, it is uh, taking the cash in value uh, honest check value not honest check value and then uh, getting transaction number and updating the transaction number in the corresponding uh, row. Okay, now let us close this and let us save this. Let us test how it works. Okay, now it is supposed to read each row, row by row, use those values from row and uh, give the values under uh, WI. The seat 100, 32, 222, that is supposed to copy and then the transaction number, the corresponding transaction number needs to be saved into Excel. See, you can see the first row, it got saved and similarly the second row. So, immediately row wise, it is copying the transaction numbers back to Excel file. This means we are success. So, this way in modern activities, we have some multiple um, activities to avoid the application scope excel application scope and directly use the for each current row and whereas we can save each um, row uh, in parallel to the transaction whatever we perform <clears throat> so i hope this is very good example where you can learn dealing with the excel file and excel application and one more application so multiple applications at a time we are working with so uh, i always suggest you to please uh, practice along with me so that you learn fast and whatever you learn never you can never forget about it no need to come back and check so when we when you do this some um, activity when you uh, practice this whenever you get some doubts you can use the comments uh, section and please write to me i can help you out so if you like this video, please do subscribe and like and share to your friends and colleagues. So let us meet with some other practice sessions. Thank you so much. Please take care. Bye-bye.